No word strikes more fear into the heart of Fox News anchors. No four syllables shakes the 1% more to its core than socialism. The problem with socialism is why would President Obama want America to be more socialist than capitalist? 43% of 18 to 29 year olds think socialism is okay. Socialism is a dirty word in American politics. It's lobbed at presidents to try and tear them down and used by outsiders to set them apart. But what is it? Socialism is a political and economic theory of social organization that advocates the means of production, distribution, and exchange should be owned or regulated by the community as a whole. There are many different types of socialists, but the main idea is that the rich and the powerful don't get to call all the shots when it comes to the economy. But here's the thing that no one will tell you. America is already socialist. Here's why. Americans work like socialists. You know those two days a week where your boss can't berate you? What are they called? The weekend. The weekend was never part of big business's plan. It was fought for and won by the labor movement of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. A labor movement that was full of socialists. In 1938, Congress passed the Fair Labor Standards Act. It established a 40-hour work week, minimum wage, and eliminated child labor. Which is a good thing, unless you run a sweatshop. Some of the most remarkable Americans, maybe even some of your heroes, were socialists. Mark Twain, Ernest Hemingway, Jack London, Cesar Chavez, Helen Keller, even Harry Houdini was a socialist. Now America has Bernie Sanders, who calls himself a democratic socialist, and Danny Glover, who's so down. But I'm still waiting on Lethal Weapon 5, the picket line. Whenever you get on a highway, drive over a bridge, use electricity from a dam, or go to a school or hospital, you're probably partaking in American socialism. To pull the country out of the Great Depression, over 30,000 public works programs were sponsored by the government under Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal. Infrastructure. Infrastructure that's now crumbling, even with President Obama's 2009 economic stimulus package, which tried to pull us out of the most recent Wall Street-induced financial meltdown. But the New Deal wasn't labeled socialism, except by its critics. FDR defended it, saying, The test of our progress is not whether we add more to the abundance of those who have much, it is whether we provide enough for those who have little. The New Deal also included unemployment insurance and social security, making sure that you can get back on your feet when you lose your job and you're taken care of when you get old and crotchety. You could call it big government socialism or just looking out for one another. The military, the one area of spending no one would dare call socialist and yet it's largely funded by you the taxpayer strange for all the wars the US has fought trying to stop the spread of socialist ideas you'd think that war was a capitalist venture around 27% of your tax dollar goes to fund the biggest and most expensive military in the world with a budget of 598.5 billion dollars compare that to spending on unemployment social security education science and infrastructure and it looks like the military is red all over good god y'all Welfare is also one of those things that's bad mouthed for being socialist, because why take care of the needy? But what about corporate welfare? Since 2000, Uncle Sam has given $68 billion in business grants and tax credits, two-thirds of which has gone to large corporations. Transportation and energy are the biggest beneficiaries. Even some of the biggest corporations, like Walmart, encourage their employees to use food stamps and other government services, because apparently the most profitable corporation in the world can't pay a livable wage. It's almost like socialism is fine if it helps the rich, but terrible if it helps everyone else. In the end of the day, socialism is as American as apple pie, bought at a Walmart with food stamps.